In this video, we will see how to use the idea of free variables to write down the complete solution to a system of linear equations that has infinitely many solutions. Let's first review how row reduction helps us solve a system of linear equations. The process starts by taking a system, writing its corresponding augmented matrix, and then applying the row reduction algorithm. Since row reduction neither creates nor destroys solutions, we know that the system of equations corresponding to the row reduced matrix has the same solutions as the original system. In this case, the solutions to the original system are x equals minus 5 and y equals 7. Since this is the only solution, we know that this system has a unique solution. Let's apply the same process to the system x plus 2y equals 9 and 2x plus 4y equals 18. First, we write down the augmented matrix and then row reduce. The rows of the row reduced matrix correspond to the equations x plus 2y equals 9 and 0 equals 0. This is different than the previous situation because there are many pairs of x's and y's that satisfy this system of equations. For example, x equals 7 and y equals 1, or x equals 5 and y equals 2, or x equals 3 and y equals 3 are all solutions. Solutions to this system are not unique. The complete solution to a system of linear equations is a representation of all solutions to that system. Since the system x plus 2y equals 9 and 3x plus 5y equals 20 has a unique solution, we can write the complete solution to this system as a single vector, xy equals minus 5, 7. However, the system x plus 2y equals 9 and 2x plus 4y equals 18 has infinitely many solutions. How do we write the complete solution to this system? The answer relies on the idea of free variables. Recall the row reduced form of the augmented matrix corresponding to the system from earlier. The first column is a pivot column and corresponds to the variable x. The second column is a free variable column and corresponds to the variable y. For this reason, we will also call y a free variable. Effectively, we are in a situation with one equation and two variables. Since we would rather have two equations and two variables, we introduce a new arbitrary equation by assigning t to the free variable y. We now have the system x plus 2y equals 9 and y equals t, which can be solved for x and y in terms of t. Rewriting this solution as a vector, we see xy equals 9, 0 plus t times minus 2, 1 is a solution to this new system. Recall, though, that t is arbitrary. By substituting real numbers in for t, we recover solutions to the original system. In fact, every solution to the original system can be written as 9, 0 plus some number times minus 2, 1. This means we know how to write the complete solution to the original system. Formally, we would write x plus 2y equals 9 and 2x plus 4y equals 18 has complete solution xy equals t times minus 2, 1 plus 9, 0 for t in R. Again, we call this the complete solution because every real number you plug in for t produces a solution, and every solution can be obtained by plugging in some real number for t. Let's look at a more complicated situation involving multiple free variables. Consider the five-variable system of equations, its corresponding augmented matrix, and the row-reduced form of that augmented matrix. The row reduced matrix has two free variable columns corresponding to the variables x3 and x4. So we will introduce two arbitrary equations, x3 equals t and x4 equals s, which gives us a new system of equations. We can solve this new system of equations for the variables x1 through x5 in terms of t and s. And we can write this in vector form. Having done this, we say that the given system has complete solution x1 through x5 equals t times 22100 plus s times minus 3 minus 2010 plus minus 24 minus 7004 for t and s in the real numbers. That is, picking values for t and s produces solutions to the original system, and every solution to the original system can be obtained by some choice of t and s. Note, when writing complete solutions in vector form, it is tradition but not required to write vectors whose coefficients are parameters at the beginning of the equation.